To access the Aquaji software's user interface, you must first create an account on the Navori website. Once signed in, simply click on the Access My Demo Account link. This will take you into the demo environment of the Navori Aquaji software. This environment will allow you to view, investigate, click through, and enter into any property or area of functionality of the software itself. The software has five main functions. The first three are used in retail marketing and integrated workplace management, while the last two are typically used more by advertisers. Aquaji software interprets the camera's video feed and turns it into datasets, which are forwarded to the server and made available here so that you can sift through them and make sense of the data quickly and easily. So, the first application we want to investigate is acquisition or entrance marketing. Typically, this is used to figure out, well, how many people are entering or attending, when they came, and what are their demographics. Footfall counts the body shapes, while people uses advanced face detection to count individuals such that if the same person walks by the same camera multiple times, he or she will only be counted once. The information or data is displayed here in three separate charts, each showing a different time range. The first chart shows the period, the second chart shows the results for each day of the week, while the third chart shows hourly results. So, at any point, this allows you to get metrics on any given location's foot traffic. If we look by hour, typically in the evenings is when we have the most visitors. So we can make an educated staffing decision based on that data. If we scroll down further, you'll notice that we further break down this data by gender. So this allows us again to have instant, effective, and usable demographic visitor information that will allow you to improve the way that you do business. If we go a little bit further down the line, you'll notice that this is now further broken down by age range. But now you can specify also by particular age range or age group. We need to do some work here to start and bring these numbers up to attract more of that demographic into our store because we can see it is sagging versus, versus other demographics, for example. The second application to explore is length of stay. How long are people staying in your physical space? The longer the time a person spends in a physical space, especially a retail store, the better the outcome will likely be for the retailer. On the other hand, when evaluating a service location like a government office, we look for the opposite. Why? Because when visitors spend less time, this is a sign of overall efficiency. So, how do we figure out the length of stay, for example? Aquaji communicates with cameras that scan the various store entrances and exits so it can capture all in and outbound foot traffic. We can see how long the visitor stayed, the average and median time. You can measure this vari the variance by gender and by age range. The next application we want to look at here is waiting time or time spent waiting in line. This ultimately measures how long are people waiting in lines or waiting to be served from any given point in time. This is something we want to make we want to use to make sure that, well, are we adequately staffed during these periods of day to make sure that we can guarantee the best possible visitor or customer experience? Let's take a look at one of the sample cameras here and see if we can make a little bit more sense of this with an example. Notice here that under each particular person that is being detected, you see a ticking time clock so we can tell for how long they have been waiting or standing in line. The next area I want to look at is attention span. In this case, not only are we looking to detect the actual foot traffic, we are looking to calculate the opportunity to see. Before we do, let's think about OTS or opportunity to see. What does this mean and what are we actually determining or calculating? Basically, by determining a person's viewing angle, Aquaji can tell if a person has an advertising billboard or a product within their current field of view. This is commonly referred to as OTS or opportunity to see. The software uses by default an angle of 160 degrees. Then we specify for how long the screen or object should be within the vision field to get accounted for. Aquaji tells the average and median exposure times. 
If we come down a little bit further, like all of our other metrics and applications, you can see the same data arranged by gender. We can, of course, also further filter our view based on age range. Now, let's take a look at conversions. It's based on calculations of a much narrower field of vision that you can customize per camera. When we record a conversion, we can assume that the people have watched the content in question or looked at the product or area in question. Further down, you can see the conversions calculated by gender and by age range. Since privacy rules can vary between regions, it's good to know the software can be calibrated to respect local reg regulations. It's also good to know you can change these settings remotely at any time in case rules change in the future, so modifying camera parameters won't require an on-site visit. Last but not least, let's take a look at the final block of functionality, which is vehicle detection. Vehicle detection is very important in terms of outdoor advertising, digital out of home. For example, you have billboards that are around a particular city on the side of a highway. So let's bring out the sample stream for the vehicle tracking camera. What this does is we can detect unique vehicles and also categorize them based on vehicle type. And of course, as with all of our other metrics, we can quickly and easily see over what period of time versus the referenced period selected above. Know your customers, step up your game.